What is up, people? Van from the Vanderus Gaming Channel here, bringing you another series on Slash Crown of Magister. This is going to be episode one of my entire playthrough of the main storyline, If I Do Not Die. This is going to be a little bit of a longer intro, so for all those people that like to put a comment in and put the timestamp of when I stop talking and when the video actually starts, go for it. But I want to take a few minutes to kind of outline what we're doing here. We're playing through the main quest line. We're using some of the new subclasses from the Lost Valley. We're playing through on scavenger mode, which is the second highest difficulty, right below cataclysm mode. Cataclysm mode? And then we're playing Iron Man mode style. So there is a chance that if I wipe out before the end of the series, that this series will end before the actual campaign does. Now, I feel like I'm good enough at the game that I'll be able to make it to the end, but time will tell. So... Every episode, I'm going to give you an intro of the episode, what you're going to see in that episode, and then I'm going to let it play through unedited, just in its raw form. Then if you guys have questions or comments of what I did or things that you think I should have done differently, leave them in the comments below, and then I will answer all your comments. Maybe even do a Q&A at the end of each video for the next video. We'll see how it goes. If you do not like this style and you prefer I do commentary through the entire video, Go ahead and leave that in comments below that you prefer I do commentary and not end and only give you a little blurb in the beginning. So with that said, let's talk about episode one. In this episode, we're going to pick up right after the tutorial, and this is going to get us through the city. We're going to pick up our main story. We're going to level up to two. We're going to do our first encounter where we always get a surprise attack because the game wants to teach you about surprise attacks, and then we're going to make it to our first location via overland travel. So hopefully you guys like this video, you like this style. Leave your comments below if you have any questions or anything you want to cover. And if you want to see all the videos as they come out, then go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Click the little bell so you know when I put up more videos. I'm going to put up probably more videos frequently for this series than I usually do, just because I want to get them up as fast as I can. All right, this is Van from the Vanderus Gaming Channel. I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I look forward to seeing your comments below. Cheers! And peace out. Your lives and allegiance to this council and promise to carry forth our mission to protect our alliance from any who would threaten the common good. I swear. I swear. Excellent. Lord Karen will enter your name into the council's register. Thank you for your service. Congratulations, deputies. Wait, that's it? Stop wasting time. What's the mission? Well, a motivated deputy. So, the mission. As I'm sure you know, the Council maintains a number of outposts to secure the border between the Principality and the Marches. One of them is the former Imperial Fortress, KLM. It's held by some 50 troops under the command of Captain Henrik. He sends us weekly status reports, or rather, he used to. We haven't heard a word from him in three weeks. Leave immediately for KLM and find out if anyone there is still alive. If Captain Henrik or anyone else is still breathing, bring him back. The Council wants a first-hand report. Right, I guess that's that. It's on to KLM. Hello, adventurers. What can I offer you? We'd like to stay for the night. Sure. Just walk up to the suite and settle in. A suite? Oh, uh, it's more like a large bedroom, really. But you know, this is the capital city.
Welcome to Gorim's Emporium. Deputies, a word if you please. So famous already, I love it. You were in there too. Are you a member of the council? I'm Annie Bagmorda, quartermaster of the Scavengers Guild. We don't have a seat in there, but they all know exploring the Badlands without us would be a bad idea. That's why you should stop by our headquarters downtown. You'll need our services, I'm sure. Is that compulsory? No. But you'll find our services useful. Everyone does. Did Lord Caron not tell you? No, he pretty much stuck to giving orders. Oh, right. Anyway, we offer plenty of help and advice to beginners like you. We are grown-ups, you know. At least most of us are. Of course you are. Well, good luck. At least she's not another lady or something. They're tough, these scavengers. Fearless. The scavengers? They've seen so much already. The first explorers of the ancient empire. So what do you think? Should we check out their headquarters? It's not far, but... I've had enough talking. Let's go kill some monsters. If there's business to be done, we can't afford not to. Hello, how may I help you? You came. You piqued our curiosity. So, what exactly do you have to offer? You don't know.
Well, thank you. I guess that's it for us. Fine. Feel free to visit us any time. Or drop into any scavenger camp. Are there others? Anywhere we can settle. By the way, if you find Captain Henrik, tell him we're still interested. In what? In getting our people to KLM. The outpost is perfect for us. Close to the Badlands, with plenty of space for our camp. Right. We'll tell him if we find him. That would be appreciated. The more you do for us, the more we do for you. Oh. So this business relationship can get better. And I hope it will, friend. I guess we'll see you around then. Sure. Good luck out there. And don't forget, in the Badlands, always keep your eyes open. Arcana Conjo! Valmis! Natura and Joe Balmis. Natura Evo Fiore. Thanks. Huh? <gasps> 
Well done. Yeah! <laughs> 